x, y, and z are three random variables with mutual pairwise correlation rho. What is the minimum possible value that the rho can take? Before moving on with the actual question, let's establish some base concepts and terminology. If you are comfortable with the notions of correlation, covariance, and positive semi-definite matrices, you can skip right ahead. As a refresher, let us define the correlation between two random variables. Divide the covariance of x and y by the product of x and y's standard deviations. The formula for the covariance is the expectation of the multiplied center versions of x and y. Expand the product, apply the linearity of the expectation in the numerator, write the standard deviations as the squared root of the formula for variance, and you will get an alternative equation for the correlation coefficient. Here is one concise example to quiz your newly acquired knowledge. If we look at the definition of covariance and correlation, we can see that the correlation is not bounded, since it scales with the expectation of each variable. This implies that, if the question were about the minimum covariance, the answer was undefined, since it could take any real value. On the other side, the correlation is always in the interval minus 1, 1, with one proof of it up on the problem's web page. We define the correlation matrix of three variables, with the possibility to generalize to more, as the matrix with elements the pairwise correlations of the variables. One of the basic properties of the correlation matrix is that it is positive semi-definite. A proof of this, that uses the definition of such matrix, can be, as well, found on our website. Next, we define the terms minor and leading principal minor, which are the determinants of the matrix obtained by deleting the last n-k rows and columns from the original one. In the end, we need one last property of a positive semi-definite matrix. All its leading principal minors are non-negative. When asked to give a minimum value, two things must be done. Find the lower bound, and then prove that this bound is attainable by providing an example. The loosest bounds for rho are minus 1 and 1. We can easily see that rho can be equal to minus 1. If the pairs xy and yz have a correlation of minus 1, the correlation between x and z must be 1. We could also choose x, y, and z independent, in which case rho would be 0. So, our minimal value is in the interval open at minus 1 between minus 1 and 0. To get a tighter inequality, we use the necessary properties of the correlation matrix outlined in the first part of the video. Write the correlation matrix of x, y, and z and set the conditions for it to be positive semi-definite. Recursively, eliminate trailing rows and columns to get the principal leading minors. The first is 1, clearly non-negative. The second is 1 minus rho squared, which is non-negative for values of rho between minus 1 and 1. This condition on the correlation is already satisfied due to the previously mentioned constraints. The third, and last one, is the determinant of the matrix itself. We use Sarus's rule to compute the determinant. We expand the polynomial and get that 1 minus rho squared times 1 plus 2 rho is greater than or equal to 0. This implies that either rho is 1, or 1 plus 2 rho is greater than or equal to 0. So, rho is greater than or equal to minus 1 divided by 2. Now, we have reduced the interval for rho, and the minimal value that it can take is at least minus 1 divided by 2. If we find a triplet of random variables with pairwise correlations of minus 0.5, we have proved that this value is attainable, hence 
the minimum. Unfortunately, this is the tricky part. One way to construct such variables is let a1, a2 and a3 be independent, identically distributed, standard uniform random variables and consider xi to be ai minus the mean of the variables a for each value of i between 1 and 3. If we expand the average and compute the coefficients, we get a simplified formula for the xi's. We compute the variance of the xi's by using the formula for the linear combination of independent random variables, in our case, the ai's. The variance of ai is 1, and the covariance of ai and aj is 0. So, the variance of xi is 2 thirds for any value of i. Thinking back to the correlation formula, we are missing the covariance between xi and xk. We again linearly expand the covariance, keeping in mind that the covariance of independent random variables is zero, and the covariance of a random variable with itself is its variance. The result for the covariance of xi and xk is minus one divided by three. Putting the two formulas together, we get that the correlation of xi and xk is minus one divided by two. This example implies that the value of minus 0.5 is attainable, hence it is the minimum value that rho can take. We have the correct result for the case of three random variables. Can we generalize it? How about the minimum value of rho when we have n random variables with pairwise correlations equal? Just as before, we consider the correlation matrix and its properties. The determinant of it must be at least zero. Computing it is not as trivial, since there is no generalized formula for the determinant of an n by n matrix. We can use the decomposition along a column and induction to prove that this value of d is 1 minus rho to the power of n minus 1 times 1 plus and minus 1 times rho. For this to be greater than or equal to 0, we must have that rho is at least minus 1 divided by n minus 1. We construct again the random variables xi as the difference between ai and the mean of the a's, where ai are iid standard uniform. With a similar rationing as in the previous part, we compute the variance of xi. It is n minus 1 divided by n. The covariance of xi and xk turns out to be minus 1 divided by n. From the correlation formula, we obtain the correlation between any distinct xi and xk to be minus 1 divided by n minus 1, just the lower bound we observed before. This generalization is consistent with our results for n equals 3. At the same time, we can see that the value of the minimal correlation converges to zero when n goes to infinity. This aligns with the natural idea that adding more random variables to a set will increase the minimum correlation. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problem's dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!